Hello, home builders. It is day 56. I'm here at Universal Studios um, in front of the new Velocicoaster, which I think will turn out to be one of the great roller coasters in the country. Um, it's not open yet, unfortunately, so we didn't get to ride it. There's a cool little Velociraptor there, and uh, here's parts of the coaster. Comes over here, uh, back in the background, behind my ear, you can see a near 90 degree drop that you get shot up. Looks pretty cool. Anyway, today is day 56, and we have a um, we have a scripture from 2 Timothy, chapter 3. And really, what the focus is is on that scripture uh, is for a lot of things in teaching our children, but specifically for both instruction and correction. And the reminder from uh, the writer is not to get sucked into being either the one that is just correcting every little nitpicky thing all of the time. Uh, you know, the one coming down with the hammer all of the time or the one that, you know, doesn't want the unpleasant conflict that comes with correction and instead prefers to, you know, always play the good cop and never the bad cop. Um, it's easy to get sucked into those, um, you know, those habits and, and it's, it's not good, um, you know, to, to have specifically, you know, one parent always do this, one parent always do that. Um, or, or to just be relaxed in one or the other. You, know, you can be correcting all of the time, but are you giving the instruction um, that needs to come with it? You can be um, instructing all of the time, and, but if those, that instruction gets ignored, um, correction needs to come as well. So those are some things to think about. And one thing I'm reminded of when I was thinking about this is Keith does a really good job of, of teaching about how not only do we need to not be one or the other all the time, but we need to understand that um, our kids individually will accept instruction and correction oh, um, really, really um, differently. Um, looks like we got a test run coming here with an empty car. Wish I could get a ride on that thing. Really wish I could get a ride on that thing. Um, pretty cool. This is a pretty cool roller coaster here. If you ever get a chance, you're going to want to take a ride on this one. Um, but anyway, Keith does a really good job of teaching about how even within your own family, your, your different children will accept correction and instruction differently and respond differently to different types. We need to understand that and we need to understand what makes our kids tick. We need to understand what they respond to. We need to understand what is the most effective way to get a message across and uh, to be able to teach them God's word. So let's keep that in mind and let's be working on those things. Um, sorry, I keep, keep taking drinks of this empty cup, but if I do that, the mask police won't uh, stop me and put me in mask jail. So anyway, have a great day today. Um, I'm actually in town by the time you see this video, just recorded it a little early. So hope everything is going well with everybody and I'll talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.